Hi guys, so I'm back with another project with the Nature's Remedy kit that's going to go in the journal. So, um, I just need to trim these down. These are the little pages. There's usually two to a page. I've got too many in there, but anyway, it worked. Um, there's usually two to a page, and um, they're always provided in Artie Mazes kits. And so I just print them out because there's quite a lot in the um, in the kit. And so I thought I'd make a, I had these little envelopes and I thought I'd make a little booklet out of them to go in the journal. So um, what I'm going to do is I've just slipped the envelope in there. So I'm going to glue that. Let's get right into it, get cracking. How is everybody? Um, it's actually the same day as the other video, but I'm just getting them done because I want to get this project done by the end of the month. So that's the timeline for Tracy's challenge. So I'm going to glue that in there. And that will fold over. Now I'm not, I don't think I'm going to glue that one down. That doesn't make a pocket there. Um, I'm not going to glue that one down. I think I might make it um, like that it flips. I think I will. Um, so let's decorate this first before we put the pages in. And I did print up a few more pages because papers because I didn't have enough um, to work with. So I think this one will tear it. I'm just looking at it, trying to decide. Great pages, ladies. And a little bit crowded here with all my stuff. Let's put that there and I should tell you what size my envelopes are as well. I'll just tell you that in a second. So I actually didn't use this paper in any of my collaging um, in the project, in the for you know for the tags or anything like that, because I had it as a page. I have it as a page in the journal. Um, but um, I printed it out again because I thought it could be quite good for collaging. So I think I'll stick that on the on that part. We're just going to go ahead. I'm not going to waste too much time trying to make decisions. It's not going to be too elaborate as a little book, but I just thought I'd show you how I'm going to make it. I've never, I don't think I've ever made one before. I'm just with envelopes like this. I'm just making it up as I go. Oh, that's a terrazzo floor, it looks like, behind. Hmm. Okay, so that's going to go like that. Then we'll do the back. Use some of this paper again. I like this paper. Maybe that bit. So let's get the edge off here. Hopefully that's good. Tear that off. And then I want the lavender part. I think it's lavender. Let's be crooked. And put that there. Just get too much stuff everywhere. Good. So that's the front. Inside, we need to put our papers in 
on the inside as well. So I might just use some more. Maybe we'll have that there. Oh, yes, I like that. So I just need to see. Where's my ruler? Rip the bottom off. Oops, wrong end. And we'll put it there, I think. And so I need to rip. So what I need to do here is just put, where did I have that? I had folded a piece, but I'll grab this one. Oh, it's there. I'm just going to slide that in there so that when I, I'm going to put my glue um, everywhere except I don't want it to get in there because it'll close the pocket. And then I'm going to snip my pocket. I think it might be a top loading pocket. So you put, it's very important to put your glue on the envelope, not on your piece of paper, because I've done it before. Um, if you put it on your piece of paper, you'll forget and you'll put it on the bit that's meant to go here and then you'll close your pocket. And you don't want to do that. But before I stick it on too, then, because I need to, now that's going to be that side, what I want to do is just run a little bit of glue down the edge of my paper that's going to be there because I want to close my pocket there so I've put some glue down here and that's going to go there and that will close the pocket on that side we're going to open it elsewhere just need to jiggle around it's not exactly straight okay and then I'm going to I'll probably I think I'll snip across here And my pocket will now open at the top. Okay, so that's going to be where the pocket opens. And I'll snip, I'll put a little loopy thing there in a minute. So I've got that there, we've got that at the back. Now we've got to do the same process here. And I might come back and use this paper. Now, let's see which part would we like to use. We can use that one. I really like that one. I think I'll use that one. And we're going to do the same process and I'm just thinking do I want it to um, open at the top or the side I'll decide in a minute doesn't matter I can decide afterwards I can do all my bits and then and then decide so that's going to go there so I need to put it there like that so I can kind of see how wide Tear it across the bottom and then measure here. It might be slightly, I've done it slightly small, it doesn't matter. I can slide it over there and I can put something down there if I want to. Now I need to remember to put my piece of paper in. Put my glue. And I might, I could even just decide to put a bit of washi down there. Or I could just sort of put it in the middle. Oh, I forgot to put my glue down that on the inside. That's okay. We can still manage that. All I have to do is get this and glue. Is anything coming out? Just glue it shut there. There we go. So 
so that's two envelopes and then I'll decide whether or not I want um, to open that one at the top or the side I could decide maybe I'll do it at the side just do something different so again just snip a tiny piece off strip off the side and then I've got my opening there Now, I'm not going to put any pockets in here, but you could. Um, except for the, the two tucks that there are already there. There's just going to have, it's just going to be really for writing. And it's just going to have all the little decorated pages in there. I'm not going to put anything else in there, I don't think, am I? <coughs> um, I'll have a think about that. So that's, I'm and I'll probably just machine stitch it, the, the pages in. I'll machine stitch the pages in there I need to trim them down just a bit further that one's ended up yeah I need to trim them a little bit more and I'm going to make this a flippy thing so let me see I don't think I've got I do have some tags left just a minute not these tags although I could use one of those that one I've got these let's have a look at the I've got these and these So let's just see. Maybe these that are a little bit more vibrant. Let's just have a look. Yes, I might put that one there. I'll cut it into a tag shape, I think. And on the reverse side, I could put one of those. Okay. So let's put those two together like let me just see no i'll have to cut it out first not going to work that is my cutter going to go on there and I want to put this that's it I need to trim this down hopefully it doesn't move to the same size how wide is that it over to about there. Okay. So I'm going to glue this one on here. So pretty much, I think I've cut them pretty much the same size. So I'm going to glue this one on here. So I need to put glue all over this one. Rather than just sticking down that flap, I thought it could be fun just to use it and make it a, a decorative element. So stick that on there. And then get this one. that 
that one there and see yep that's working cute and then let's clean my fingers off I'll probably stick something like that right across that bit there let's just see what that looks like Okay, yep, that's a nice addition there just to cover up that empty space. And then I'm going to put One of these, I think, to find one, that one. Let's have a look. And I want to cover my flower there, so I'm going to put it down here. Little whale tail, cut out from one of those circles. Okay, cute. And then here I'm going to do this. Just slip it in there. There, and then I haven't stitched my pages in yet. And then here I'm going to do the same. And so I need to trim down my pages and I made a cute little notebook with envelopes. I didn't tell you the size of the envelopes. The envelopes are approximately, I've dropped all my papers, um, five and a half inches by um, three and a half, three and nearly three and three quarters, or centimeters, 14 by nine. Okay, now, do I want to add something here? So that's that, that's that. Probably not very much that it blends in too much no I don't think I want to add anything I don't want to cover on any of that up the only thing I would add is a little label but I think we've got one on the front so we don't need any more we've got one there I'm just going to leave that we could put a nice big label there would be nice just a plain one to write something Where are they? I got these from AliExpress. These one of these might do their sticky. I'll just stick that on there. Stick that there. Those will be the pages, and then I don't think we need anything there. Oh, the page is stuck. Just a sec. Okay. Okay. I'll leave the pages out for a second. So that's that. I don't think I want anything else, do I? No. And then the back. The black one. I don't think I'll put anything there. Okay, so that's going to be the cute little book. As I said, I'm just going to machine stitch these in or sort them. I've got to trim them down just a tiny bit more because they are still a little bit long. And um, they'll just be machine stitched. And then you just have this cute little notebook that'll have a couple of tags in it and a little bit of writing book. Uh, writing pages, I should say. So there you have it so i'll show you that completed in the next video if i remember um i usually sort of recap what i've been doing 
So, um, yep, just a quick little video to make a cute little notebook with envelopes and some of those book pages, those um, journaling spots that are included in the kit. I just cut them out and, and they fit with those envelopes. So thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye. Okay, so I'm back. I went through and just put things in pockets to see what I had. And so I've got a little thing in there. Um, just gonna make sure they're not the pages didn't stick together. I glued in the pockets that I had shown you previously. And so now I'm gonna do something I needed to sort out. It's a little bit bulky now that I put all stuff in there, but I wanted to sort this out. And what I was thinking was, I'm, I've torn down this paper. I think I might attach this here and fold it over backwards and attach it there. And I'm wondering, do I want to leave it as a pocket? I don't think so. I think we have a lot of pockets and things. It's a, becoming a very bulky journal. So this is a very simple solution to this. Um, it's a very bulky journal, so um, there's a lot of things. What is that noise? Oh, it's Lily. Um, there's a lot of um, things going in it. So um, I thought this is a good way to extend that page. And I've got a couple of things to decorate. And then it will nearly be done, I think. I only need to put glue here. Make sure I put plenty. And then I'm going to put glue, plenty of glue on this bit as well. Just make sure I get it everywhere. Okay, right. So if I put that and make get it straight ish looks all right to me and then you get this and fold it over oops oh and I'll tell you the other thing I made as well now what I could do here I think I might. I'm. Go, I think I might just do a little bit of um, embroidered bits too. So that might be another video. I'd like to put a little bit of textile in, but I think somewhere here. I'm just going to grab my washi tapes and see. Um, I might put a little bit of washi here and there. Um, which one would I like? These are lovely. These are stamps. A look I might stick two I'll just stick them there I might stick them down there two stamp I like that and then across the top just in that little bit there I might stick Maybe I'll use this one actually, a bit of colour. And then down there, we'll have something going down there. Um, one down there okay so that's I've added in a page there on the thing the um, the flap of the envelope and now I might just oh gosh that could be a disaster I'm gonna put them on my garbage bin now probably 
I'll put them on the wrong way. And so I might put a little bit of embroidery or something there, but I need to do it. Um, and then I needed to decorate this. So I'll just take this out. I put this trifold in there. I thought that was pretty. So I need to do this. So let's get some papers. A few finishing off things to do. I didn't make all of the embellishments that I thought I would. Um, all of the sort of tags and things. Oh, look, I've made a mess here. Oh, I've got to make those up as well. And I've got a few things to clip in. So pull all of that out. Put that down on the ground, out of the way. All of the bits. Put that over there. Okay. So we're going to start collaging. And I've got lots of scraps here. Well, first of all, this is a very nice envelope. It's actually... Um, so that could be really nice there, I think. It's... Um, I might put, even put it up there, no, down there. It's um, it's a creamy colour. looks like it's kind of almost like a recycled paper. So I actually don't even mind if I have bits of it peeping out. And it's not exactly, it's off-white. It's a creamy, sort of, not cream cream colour, but it's, yeah, oatmeal-y sort of colour. Leave that there. I was going to make that into a tag, but I've now put it there. Okay, and then I could put this. Let me put that scrap. It's not quite right. Put those over there. Um, wait. Okay, let's see what bits I have here. I think I like that there. So always a good opportunity to use up your bits and pieces um, when you're doing collaging. this one on the reverse side just we'll just see all this oh no that was the same as that one so I won't put that there just move those over there oh, I've got this little piece here it's too big oh I love that that's super old if I just stick that across there I will and I've got little peekaboo bits of the envelope peeping out as well. And I have this little piece here. I think I might tear this down. that much so I need to tear it put that there and I would like I think I'd like a little piece of book page shooting down there here book page do I have any book page um, of course I've got plenty of book page oh just a minute now I do just a second I've been cutting up other papers for my next project 
and I do have some bits and pieces there that I could use um, rather than getting book page I think I'm going to look I've been cutting up papers I've got I kept all these strips actually I've got even thinner strips over there because I can use these but um, I'll just use one of these over here just a second I'll grab one in the colour that will go something like that would go, that one. Or what about, this is the grey. I think I, oh no, not the grey. Okay, I'll use the first one. Okay, so that's going to go there. Then I'll decorate it, but first let me cover up this bit over here. Now what I want to do here is I'm going to have this open, um, and so I need to close here, and I'm thinking this piece is going to be almost perfect for there. So I think I'll put that, or would I prefer this one? This one's actually stronger paper. I think I prefer these colours. Yeah, I think I prefer those colours. So just let me see here. I need to tear off a little bit off the side so I'll do that Let's see if that's enough not enough a bit more yep that's good and then I just think I need to tear off the white bits Okay, so what I need to do here, I need to glue this on. Um, I need to put this in there, so I don't, I don't want to get glue on that bit. Although it doesn't really matter. If I did get glue there, it wouldn't really matter because it's still quite a deep pocket. But we'll, we'll be careful anyway. So I'm going to put my glue on here. But I'm also going to go around the edge. Mm, what edge am I going to go around? I'm going to go around the top and bottom of that as well, just to make sure I get the glue right to my edges. So that's that, and then I need to go top. And then I also need to grab this glue, and let me just see which way is the up. That way. Run it along here. So I've just put glue along that edge there. That's going to stick down that side to close my pocket. That's a little bit shorter so, and it's a little bit crooked. And I'm going to snip out a little thing here so what I could do there I could put I could, might put that up there no maybe some washi tape see what this one's like put that there and then I'll put a different one I got that was like a packet I think I got it on Aliexpress but I like the the neutral sort of colors I want to cover up more there. I'll make sure it's the right length. OK. 
okay that's that that's done now do I want to add anything else to that let's just have a quick look what I've got here there papers put the papers over there don't want to add any butterflies I've already got butterflies it's a tab I wanted to go through and put some tabs on the pages um, circles I didn't make that tag but I might got labels I haven't used these yet, but I wanted to use some of these as decorations on the pages. So I'll just put those aside. little bit of paper there we'll put that there I don't want to cover that up feel like I could have a little splash of color there and maybe put did I have any green over here no any green there I had a little piece of green somewhere yes I think I'll do that just I want to add because there's all like um, brownie sort of colors there I want to add um, just a little different colour there. And I know it clashes, but I like that. Hopefully you can see I'm going to put that there. Right, now where is my, where did I put my tag? Oh, here it is. So we'll put this back in. That's going to live in there. Like that, you see? It's perfect. So that's that. Oh, we need to do something here. I want to put something there. Where are my little scissors? Oh, I threw away my... Well, I didn't really throw them away, but I threw them in my little garbage basket. Amazing how much um, work goes into these journals. Go 
Okay, so that's that. Let's move those over there because otherwise they push me off screen. I'm not sure. Not those. Or maybe a bigger butterfly. Sorry, maybe a bigger butterfly. I didn't make the little field notes book, but I feel like I've got a lot. I need to make one of those up into a tag, I think I remember. I've got a lot going on in this. I didn't use those either. Um, but I've got a lot going on in this journal, so. Maybe this one. Okay. Yeah, prefer that one. So I think I'll just glue that one there. Okay. Right, that's that. I was going to put something there. I was going to put a little butterfly there. No, I might put a label. Um, oh, I like this. Just a minute, let me look at this. Kind of funny there, just like that. Hmm. I'll do that. Okay, so, oh, I also made a, um, a writing board. I just wrapped it in one of the papers um, and just folded in kind of like, um, yeah, like if you were covering a book. So I, um, I got the paper and I had it like this. So it was a double, you know, full sheet of paper and I folded that in, snipped. Now I folded up my corners like that and then glued it all down like that. And then I brought it around and I, I tucked it in here um, so you could, didn't have a rough edge. And so um, it's a, a writing board because the journal will be quite lumpy. So um, that way it's easier to write. And I think those over there. I want to use some of these 
lovely tabs and I think they are done so that they can go they have a direction I'm going to put a little tab on that one. Okay. And then here we've got this. I don't want to cover up anything too much. Um, but I did feel like you could just have a few little things. I'm going to go to the scraps. Where are the scraps? So a few things just stuck down like that. I don't know. side but I've got a more straight edge there maybe I'll put it there yeah That needs a tab. So with these, I like just cut the bottoms off and then fold them in half and then cut the shape. So that way you don't, you get the shape the same on both sides. I want to leave that just in, so whoever has this can do whatever they like. Let's just stick that there or there's plenty of space to write I think. over here like the butterfly there so I'll stick that down
Okay, that one I didn't stick right, push right in because I had it was drying, but it's got um, that's the one I did in the previous video, and it's got the I made little tags from as I said I was going to from the kit. They're really cute, and I yeah, so that's that. And I think this page could have some sort of tab on it. I think I might put it one like that. Let me see if I've got another one of those to match it. This one maybe. Yeah. So I'll glue that. I don't want it to stick out too far. And then glue this one on the opposite side and hopefully they kind of match. I might have to trim them a little bit. Oh, not too bad. Okay, so that's their little tab there with tickets. Never know what to do with those. And then... Oh, here I wanted to put something just to deal with that. And I could put maybe this, tear this off here, grab my ruler. And then just tear this, because there's a bit of white there, so I'll just tear it off that way. better and then I'll glue that there Ah, this one I needed to do um, my circle. So what I need to do with this is glue it to make it a little bit stronger because um, it's just on regular paper. So I'll just glue it on here and then we'll cut it out. I think I can use my two inch punch for this. It won't like it because it's wet, but it doesn't matter. We'll see how we go. Oh no, that's too big. So we can't use that. I have to cut it out. This must be a one and a half or something. Okay, so that's going to go there, um, and I get this glue here and just hold it at the top and go across about a third. And then we'll put a little label on there because I like those. So I want to cut this one out with that shape. Okay. I'll put that one 
over there like that, I think. And I'm going to put that just there like that so it has a chance to dry and then I'll close it. Okay, so that's that one. Let's close it like that. Oh, I've got a similar one there. Okay, and yes, yeah, so I think I'll continue on and just go through and add things here and there. And then I'll be back in the next video. So I'll see you again soon. Bye.